It's a gorgeous spring day in my backyard garden, and I brave the pollen to do a sketch of the forsythia. Forsythia is like this burst of this gorgeous yellow flowers early in the spring. They smell just slightly like honey and perfect for some twin rocker paper and a nice afternoon sketching. Actually, this is morning light. And it's the morning or the afternoon to get that wonderful gold glow. So I'm laying the um, cadmium yellow and the cobalt violet just blur into each other. And it has wonderful little um, resisting areas and the granulation. So it, it does a lot of it. It paints itself. And it is just beautiful today. I'm using a scroll brush because I want hit and miss. This is a sketch. I'm having some fun playing around. It's finally the right weather for sketching. Cadmium yellow. Um, I want a really rich golden yellow. So the Azo yellow is a little bit too um, green. And yes, the azaleas are just starting to bloom too, so hit it with some Quin Red. I'm just dashing around. I'm doing a whole lot of splattering and playing with the paint. I'm using Viridian. It's a little bit duller than Thalo Green, so perfect for screen, spring greens. The I'm mixing it with Azo Yellow and some Nickel Azo Yellow. I want the green to be very bright, but still not completely acid green. That'll come more in the height of the summer. So I'm letting the colors blur into each other and I'm working very fast outside. I think the, this whole sketch took about 20 minutes. So including drying, which is very fast for me because you know I like my layers. But this is just some dashes of color all around and I'm really playing with it and see there isn't too much I'm, I'm emphasizing the yellow um, in the forsythia so there's a lot more detail now add some detail at the end with the rigor but right now it's just a burst of yellow I'm exaggerating the pinks of the azaleas because we all know that azaleas aren't quite there they need another week but in my head they are so now I'm doing negative painting, and negative painting is essential with flowers. You just have to have some strong darks to make especially light flowers show up. So the very strong darks and just a dash of ultramarine blue. I barely use any burnt sienna in this because it's, it's a very light spring painting, so I'm keeping to a limited palette. There's a lot of grays and greens and other very muted colors in there. And um, you just are letting these colors all flow together and it, it just makes a very simple painting that's just about the burst of yellow forsythia or yellow bells as my husband likes to call them in the early spring see I'm not worrying about the paint running I used a little bit of the wax crayon to resist a few areas I thought you'd like a view of my palette so as you can tell, the only color I really mix on my palette besides just accidental mixing is green. And for this, it was the green mixed with um, the nickel azo yellow and the azo yellow. Just a little bit to brighten and dull, depending on what it was. Some violet, it's a very, cobalt violet, it's a very soft muted um, purple so perfect for that now I'm starting to have some fun with some detail you have to have those almost bare branches with the 
the yellow bells on them. And I'm just puddling the paint. My son was sketching with me earlier. So I'm doing some pretty heavy dabs of the cadmium yellow and I'll add a little bit of the white gouache, but some of that is just to kind of plead the edges. Um, I negative painted, but I want this to be a fairly soft painting. So I'm blurring some edges. Cadmium yellow used heavily is very opaque. Um, and, but it's a little softer than a white gouache would be. So some nice strong darks using that excuse for the strong darks in the background because this is backlit with the low morning light coming directly through the branches. And wow, I need to get a new rigger for my... <laughs> this one's worn out. <laughs> I, I usually have two sets of brushes, one for painting outside and one for not, but I, I took my palette outside. You may have noticed that it had, I'm getting some great granulation effects from the pollen, let's just say. So yeah, I have the finger painting and I want those hints of the red over in the background. No details, just maybe there's some azaleas back there. Maybe it's the grays of the woods. There's no way to tell. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more flower paintings or just about anything painted, please go to my website, paintingwatercolor.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy painting. <laughs>